Welcome to my channel. Think happy be happy. Subscribe. Think happy be happy. Baju and the Cat Once there lived a poor man who owned a small grinding mill. The old man had three sons Manu, Kanu and Baju. After some years, the old man died. All that he left his sons was the mill, a donkey and a cat. The three brothers decided to divide their small inheritance among themselves. The eldest brother Manu got the mill, the second, Kanu, got the donkey and the youngest son Baju, got the cat. That night, when the brothers went to sleep, Baju said to himself, The mill and the donkey can earn a livelihood for my brothers. But, how will the cat help me to earn anything at all? In fact, I will have to spend on her food. I will starve to death. At that moment, he heard a voice from the sky, Baju, listen to me. I am a fairy. You have gladly accepted whatever you have inherited and never grumbled. I assure you that your cat will be very useful to you. But you will have to follow my instructions. Make a pair of shoes for your cat's hind legs and hang a small bag around her neck. The next morning, Baju made the cat wear a pair of shoes in her hind legs and hung a small bag around her neck. He cat said, Oh master, I am leaving now. I will return only when I have done some useful work for you. The cat left Baju and walked towards the forest. As she was passing through the forest, she saw two lovely little rabbits. At once, she pounced on them and put them in her bag. At last, the cat reached the gates of a palace. The guard stopped her. She said, I am a humble and loyal servant of my master. He has sent a beautiful gift for the king. I must enter the palace to present this gift to his highness. The guard allowed the cat to go inside the palace. The cat went to the king and presented him with the two lovely rabbits. The king was pleased with the gift. The cat stayed in the palace for a few days. One day, as the cat was moving about in the palace, she heard that the king was taking his princess for a walk on the river bank. He had arranged for the royal coach to take them to the river bank. The cat immediately left the palace and rushed to Baju. She said, Oh master, go to the river for a bath. I am sure that Lady Luck will smile upon you today. Saying this, the cat explained her plan to Baju. Baju and his cat went to the river bank. When Baju jumped into the water to have a bath, the cat hid his clothes. At that time the king's coach passed by the river bank. When Baju saw it, he shouted, Help! Help! Somebody please help me! I am drowning! The king immediately sent his bodyguards to save the drowning man. Just then the cat went to the king and said, O oh king! Some thieves have stolen my master's costly clothes and ornaments. What will he wear now? The king sent his servants back to his palace and asked them to bring some rich clothes and costly ornaments. When he wore the clothes and ornaments given to him by the king, the young and handsome Baju looked like a charming prince. The princess was struck by his looks and fell in love with him. The king asked Baju to accompany them to their palace. Baju sat in the royal coach along with the king and the princess, and they proceeded towards the palace. The cat walked slowly in front of the coach. On their way to the palace, they passed by many fields. The cat said, All these fields belong to my master. Soon, they came across a huge mansion. The cat said, This palatial mansion also belongs to my master. The king was so impressed by the mansion, that he expressed his desire to see it. He asked the coachman to stop the coach at the gates of the mansion. Before the king could enter the mansion, the cat ran to the owner of the mansion and threatened him, Listen to me carefully. I warn you. You will not speak a word to the king. Leave this mansion right now through the back door. But before you leave, order your cooks to prepare a royal feast. The owner of the mansion was very frightened. He ordered his cooks to prepare delicious dishes and he immediately left through the back door. At that time the king entered the mansion along with the princess, Baju and a retinue of servants. The cat welcomed them and said, This mansion belongs to my master. The rest of the members of the family have gone out. The king was impressed by the beautiful mansion. They all relished the tasty dishes. The princess insisted on taking Baju along with her to the palace. The king realized that the princess was in love with Baju. He asked Baju, Young man, will you marry my daughter? I know that you can give her all the comforts of life and she will live happily with you.
Baju agreed to marry the princess. Baju and the princess were married with great pomp. They lived happily ever after. Please subscribe my channel and encourage me to upload more videos. Like, comment, share, subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss another update.